Good morning, Power Boosters. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin. Kevin! So I'm still driving my wife's car. Um, it's been a week and a day since the dealership had uh, gotten my truck back with another check engine light. Uh, I was told that the part was supposed to be in the next day <laughs> and they were gonna have my truck back to me in two days, but that did not come to fruition. Um, I talked to the dealer yesterday, so today is uh, Thursday, last Wednesday is when I dropped it off. The dealer yesterday had to come to my house and pick up the second key because they needed to uh, have that in order to reprogram the new computer that they put into the truck and said that it should be done by the end of the day today. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. So I just also wanted to give you an update. I, I did reach out to a Lemon Law attorney. I know that this is a process that you can do on your own and it's, it's fairly straightforward and simple, but uh, I think anytime something of this value is involved, I'd rather just have someone uh, advocating for me um, in the process if I choose to go that route. Um, I am, as soon as I take the truck back, I am going to shop it around and see what the going rate is for it right now because uh, the process of getting the Lemon Law buyback uh, approved and finalized is, is, is a lengthy process. It takes several months and I just don't feel like waiting that long. <laughs> I don't feel like having a, uh, a vehicle that um, something else could happen on it and I'm stuck again riding my wife's car around. Um, it's just not, it's not a confidence inspiring vehicle for me anymore. I know there's a lot of you that have said, hey, be patient, calm down, you've got your factory warranty still, um, just just drive the truck for longer. And I, I appreciate those you know, kind sentiments and trying to keep, keep, keep me with a level head, but uh, unfortunately I need my vehicle every day. I use it as a tool for my job because I'm an outside sales rep. I go to visit customers every day. Uh, every week, every month, uh, I, I have a route that I need to go, and if I don't have a reliable vehicle, oh, that's the uh, that's the annoying lane departure warning on the uh, Alfa Romeo Stelvio, which I wish uh, we had the lane centering in this car, which we don't. I have it in my F-150, but obviously I can't drive it. Um, but anyway, I, I, I can't have that be a worry. I've already got enough uh, worry with uh, being a 100% commission sales rep and trying to meet goals and numbers to then have uh, vehicle reliability be on top of that list of worries. It's just too much for me. Uh, I, I work too hard to have a vehicle that isn't reliable. That's part of why I work so hard is so that I don't have to worry about my car uh, or truck in this case. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, with the rising costs of vehicles and especially trucks I really don't think that a, a truck exists right now in my price range with the features that I would want and the major features that I don't want to live without on a truck are the four auto and the lane centering um, Toyotas are, are, are inarguably more reliable than Ford's but and they have the lane centering technology from what I understand even on uh, lower trim levels but they do not have the four auto. And um, I don't know, I just, I don't like the idea of not having that in a rear wheel drive vehicle in the snow. Um, I think that that truck might be better for someone who, um, I don't know, maybe is not in a snow belt or, and or is just better at driving a truck in the snow than I would be and maybe does more towing. Uh, I, I think the F-150, um, Lariat where you can get the 4 Auto now, the, the MSRP because they took away the base trim, uh, equipped in the way I'd want it, it's in the $70,000 range. And even with a X plan discount or whatever discount I'd be able to negotiate on it, it's still going to be six or seven thousand dollars more than what I would have paid for the 2022 that I am currently having issues with. So I'm kind of in a holding pattern, uh, as I mentioned before, and as I'm sure you all know, and, and those of you that are shopping new vehicles, the interest rates on, uh, on any sort of loan right now are astronomical. They're, they're, 
they're a tough pill to swallow if, like me, you've been getting 0% financing or close to it for the last decade or so. It's really tough to then look and see some of the best uh, interest rates are, you know, in the 4 or 5% for even someone like me with excellent credit. It, it's, it just, it's awful <laughs> that I'm kind of in this position where I need to, to find a new solution and I may not have an immediate solution. And, and my, one of my alternatives is to keep a truck that is is constantly throwing check engine lights and having things needing to be replaced on it. So I, I don't know. Um, I know that the Ford F-150s, uh, the 2022, I saw a commercial, the 2022 XLT trucks, which of which they probably have many uh, sitting on dealer lots now, otherwise they wouldn't be doing this, are offering 0% financing on 48 months. Um, so clearly there's a lot of XLT trucks that uh, either people who would custom order them are backing out of or for just, uh, you know, is having a tough time selling these trucks because even XLTs are out outrageously expensive. <laughs> I would say some of the XLT trucks were specking up to the Lariat level. And certainly in, in the 2023 model year, it's even higher. So I don't know, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I, I don't have the truck back as of right now. I, I don't know if it'll be today or if this if this week I was told, oh, there's the annoying chime again. I, I promise you I'm being safe and staying in the road here. Uh, I have the adaptive cruise control on. Um, and this has lane assist, so it's nudging me back into the center of lane. But anyway, uh, that was just an update. I want uh, to get this resolved in any way that I can to at least move on to the next step, whatever that may be, whether it be holding on to the truck a little bit longer, which I'm leaning against, or uh, selling it, or just going through the process of London Law, because the, the lawyer does say that I qualify for it based on my service records that I forwarded to them. Anyway, uh, as soon as I have something more to let you guys know about, I will put that in a video and post it on here. But uh, having said that, I will see you in the next one.